Hey gamers, Maniac here with Gaming Sista Net doing an unboxing. First unboxing I've done in quite a while, but I'm apologizing for that, and I plan on doing more unboxings over the course of the rest of the year. But this one right here had to be done for two reasons. I know it's not a game, it is a movie, it's a Blu-ray movie, but I had a lot I wanted to talk about this, and I figured what better way to talk about it than by doing an unboxing at the exact same time. This is the Kingsglaive Final Fantasy XV Blu-ray Steelbook. And I say Steelbook with an important distinction because there are two Blu-ray releases of this. A Steelbook edition, which is this one, and a non-Steelbook edition. Get the Steelbook edition. Now, personally, I hate Steelbooks. I can't stand them. They're so annoying. I mean, don't get me wrong. They look nice. They really do look nice. But it's, I, I don't know what it is about Steelbooks. It's impossible to get the discs out of the cases without smashing up the cases in the process which always just sucked. But if you can, get the Steelbook Edition for one major reason. It's this right here. Extended Cut of Brotherhood Final Fantasy XV. This is important. What is Brotherhood Final Fantasy XV? For those of you who don't know, it's a traditionally animated 2D, I guess, prequel series for the Final Fantasy XV, basically focusing around the, the uh, backstories of the main characters, of Prince Noctis and his men what made them such a tight-knit group. It's a great series. It was released online on YouTube in five parts. All five parts are available by now. My favorite part is still episode two, but I'm sure you'll have your own favorite. And uh, I really wanted to have a physical copy of that of that series. I really, I really enjoyed it a lot. And I was so grateful when they announced that they were going to do this edition because they were going to include the Brotherhood Final Fantasy XV edition with this version of the disc. So if you can get a chance, if you do get a chance to pick this movie up, then get the Steelbook Edition. Because only the Steelbook Edition is coming with Brotherhood Final Fantasy XV. So just so you know. Also, if you're picking up a copy of the Final Fantasy Collector's Edition, either of them, there's going to be two major Collector's Editions. Uh, the $250 Edition and like the $80 or $90 Edition, I can't remember. Which is going to be, uh, the, the $250 Edition is already sold out, but... I, you know, you can still probably get the 80 or $90 edition on your platform of choice now, still, at your local retailer. Uh, that's coming with Kingsglaive included inside the package. So you will be able to, uh, to get a Kingsglaive Blu-ray disc with it. This is for, uh, but as far as I know, it's not going to be this disc. It's going to be the, the, uh, the non-Brotherhood version. But I could be wrong on that. Um, this is just what I had heard that... Only this edition, only the Steelbook edition, would be this particular version of the disc. So after all of that, three minutes of rambling, let's say we op start opening this thing up and I'll start talking about why I wanted to pick this up on Blu-ray. Not just because I wanted Brotherhood, but because I also wanted to finally be able to chance to see Kingsglaive Final Fantasy XV. That's really why I wanted to do this. Kingsglaive Final Fantasy XV was announced during the um, Final Fantasy Uncovered event at the Shrine Auditorium when they had the original release date for Final Fantasy XV announced. They also did, that was a great night. That really was a great show. I really appreciated that show. Uh, Square Enix did a great job promoting the event and um, they showed some pretty awesome stuff. They had the, they had the demo, the Platinum demo release. They announced the um, Final Fantasy uh, 15 smartphone app uh, with Justice Monsters 5. A lot, of, a lot of good reasons to pick it up, certainly. Oh, so... We're going to get a little flap here. I'll probably hot glued on. Let's see. Oh, that's cool. This is the poster. Of course, I'm getting my fingerprints all over trying to pull this piece of rubber off. There we go. That's not going to hurt the steel book any. These are pretty tough. So there we go. This is the Steelbook. The film did have a uh, iTunes release as well as a uh, theatrical release. It had a theatrical release first. And that's really the reason why I wanted to do this video is because I haven't seen the theatrical release. I would have gone seen the theatrical release had Square Enix bothered to actually release the film in a wide array of theaters. They chose to release the film at a time when there wasn't that many films out that, were, that I was interested in going to see. 
it would have been a perfect opportunity. And I say this as someone who actually went to go see the original Final Fantasy movie, The Spirits Within, in theaters. Yes, 20, nearly 20 years ago, I sat in a theater alone on the final day Final Fantasy 15, the Spirit, I'm sorry, Final Fantasy The Spirits Within was showing in my local theater, and I saw the movie. I am not kidding. I would have loved to have gone see this film, but the closest theater that was playing it, it's a me locally, was in another state, and it was sold out. Like, all the showings of the film were, it was only like, there was only like one theater in another state that was showing it, and it was, all the showings were all sold out, probably to locals or probably to people that, that bought the tickets online in way in advance. But I would have had to have made a day trip all the way out to Times Square to go see this film when it was in theaters. And while I'm sure I would have enjoyed it, um, this all the, it would have just been very expensive. It, had they simply just shown it at my local theater, I would have been very happy just to go to the theater to go see it. So this is it. Brotherhood is indeed being released on two discs. Um, then that explains what's coming for the... I guess you would say that's what's coming for Final Fantasy XV Collector's Editions. In all likelihood, if you buy the Final Fantasy XV Collector's Edition, and again, either version of it, doesn't matter if it's the $250 one or the $80 one or whatever, you're probably going to be getting just this disc. And I know for a fact, because I looked at the regular Blu-ray release of it, the non-steelbook version, um, only this disc is included in the regular Blu-ray edition. Let's see what we got here. It's a nice cover, certainly in both cases. I mean, I, ha I do have a copy of Final Fantasy VII Advent Children on Blu-ray, uh, but I don't actually have a copy of Final Fantasy Spirits Within on Blu-ray. I have the DVD version of it. Um, that's because when Final Fantasy Spirits Within was released on Blu-ray, it, it had a small release. I, I didn't really see too many copies out on store shelves. Maybe it's also because not too many people were even interested in Final Fantasy when it first came out. Maybe they thought, we'll, we'll understock because we're, we, we're pretty certain not too many people are going to pick this up. Uh, I do like the Final Fantasy XV leaflet included uh, with the proper release date, November 29th. Um, that I, I remember when I went to the store to go pick this up today, it took me forever to find the, the, the Steelbook edition, and had I not had the opportunity to look it up online and see that my store had it, I probably would not have bought it because um, my local store put it in a different section. They put it in like a, like a display case or something, and so it wasn't, in the, it wasn't in the traditional new releases section. They put it with other new releases that they wanted to sell. So this is it. I, I, I just want you guys to know, just really quick, uh, to, before I wrap this up, if you want Brotherhood Final Fantasy XV on disc, you must get this steelbook. And I'm going to tell you this right now. I looked at most of the local just Best Buys alone that had it, and most of them had at most three copies per store. So if you can get it, get it now. Because I can't guarantee that these copies are going to be available. If you're planning on picking up Final Fantasy XV Collector's Edition and you don't want the Brotherhood disc, then don't pick this up because you're not going to need it. It's going to be included already. So there you have it, guys. There's my unboxing of Final Fantasy XV. I wish that this had a, had a bigger theatrical release. It looks like an amazing film. The reviews of it were just through the roof. All the reviews I saw of it were very positive. I have been looking forward to seeing this so much. So until next time, guys, my name is Maniac with GameAccess.net. Take care. Over and out.